Now, a while back, I made a video on the best Hammer Bro type seen in the Super Mario games. And in the comment section of that video, people started talking about potential new types Nintendo could add. And thanks to that, I started thinking, what kind of new and surprising things could Nintendo still do with this enemy? Well, personally, I think they can do a surprising amount of things with them. Especially if you look at what they did with the normal Koopa Troopas. Those were certainly more developed than the Hammer Bros even though both of them have been around for more than 20, maybe even 30 years by now. So today, we will talk about a couple of new Hammer Bro concepts that I've come up with. And I gotta say, some of these would be really fun. Now, let's dive right in. Alright, to start this journey off, we will look at quite a simple one. And this specific type was even mentioned in the comments of that video. When I first saw it and started to think about its potential, I was actually quite surprised how well something like this could work. As we all know, Nintendo has made a lot of undead versions of certain enemies. And usually, they look like a pile of bones. The first example was the Dry Bones, and later on others followed like the Bone Goombas and Bone Piranha Plants. Now, Dry Bones, for example, were mainly found in towers, castles and deserts, and they often collapse when attacked, but they soon revive themselves and become normal once again. Aside from that, they are invulnerable to some attacks like fireballs, while others can get rid of them permanently like a Power Star. This is what made these enemies different. You can't get rid of them so easily. And especially really strong power-ups like the Fire Flower had no effect, making them quite annoying to say the least. Usually you just take them out for a bit and run before they get back up, which works pretty well in most circumstances, but at times Nintendo would also put them on moving platforms where you couldn't jump off for a while. And so they would terrorize you the whole time, and when you got where you needed to be, you could go and finally jump off and get away from them. But the shocking thing is, Nintendo never created an undead version of the Hammer Bro. Which is a bit weird because they have done it for so many others. And I think the Hammer Bro could benefit a lot from gaining a Dry Bones version of its own. The Dry Bro, which is a Hammer Bro that looks a lot like a Dry Bones, and just like Dry Bowser in New Super Mario Bros, they will throw bones at you. Now these could be used in both 2D and 3D games. For example, you can put them on moving platforms, which you have to travel on. This way, they will constantly annoy you. You can also put them on the side of the action. That way, they can bombard you with bones while you can't really kill them. Throwing a boomerang or a fireball at them won't get rid of them after all. Clearly, Nintendo could do a number of things with them. In a lot of ways, they are like a more dangerous dry bones. Personally, I'm really surprised Nintendo has never come up with something like this. They basically already used the concept for Dry Bowser after all. But this isn't the only thing you could do. When making Hammer Bro types, you can do so much. Now for our next one, we will look at a Hammer Bro concept that I have talked about before actually. I discussed it in a video where I talked about bosses that I would love to see in Super Mario Odyssey 2, if Nintendo ever makes that game. And what I want to see is a Hammer Bro that functions as a boss and also has a special role in Bowser's army being the general of it. The normal Hammer Bros have been described multiple times as the lead members of Bowser's Koopa Troop, so why not add a new one that serves as the leader of them all? We have seen something like this with the Lakitu. In Super Mario Galaxy, they introduced their king, whose role in the game is being a boss fight. And we've seen many other leader versions of certain enemies. Just look at Super Mario 64, where we see all kinds of king bosses. So I think it's about time to get a Hammer Bros boss. And of course, if they did that, then they would have to make him pretty strong. And what they could do is create a bigger version that requires more hits than the normal one. While his powers are a combination of a couple of other Hammer Bro types combined. For example, he could have a power where he jumps up and comes down with a smack, causing an earthquake quake that stuns you. And another power where he all of a sudden throws hammers really quick and after a couple of seconds he gets tired, allowing you to strike. Heck, they could even give him a huge hammer that he smacks down in an attempt to crush Mario. Stuff like this would make the fight quite fun. He has a fast attack, a heavy hitter, and one that can stun. So personally, I think this idea would be really cool. And again, 
I'm quite surprised that Nintendo never added something like this. Now for our next hammer prototype, we will actually take a look at a new version that would be hell to deal with. It could potentially be so bad that Nintendo couldn't use it in a game because it would be too much for most players. Combining a hammer bro with a Koopa paratrooper. And I bet this would be cool, but also absolute hell. Now these weird Koopa troopers have wings and they lose them when they are stomped on in the air, which turns them into a regular Koopa troopa. And typically Koopa paratroopers are placed in large gaps where Mario and Luigi must stomp on rows of them to traverse a pit or reap other rewards. But if you combine them with a hammer bro, they could be used to terrorize the player as they explore the world. They can just follow you after all by flying after you, throwing hammers while doing so. And like I said, they will probably be hell to deal with because they are hard to reach, but they will still bombard you with tons of hammers. Now one thing Nintendo could add so you can get to them is a special attack that leaves them open for a counter attack. Just like the general, they can have some sort of burst hammer attack where they throw a ton of them and get tired afterwards. And when that happens, he slowly comes down and only realizes what's happening right before hitting the ground, quickly flying higher. Something like this would give you the option to take them out and it would also be quite a funny thing to see. It would be very cartoonish in a way. Now, I will be honest, a concept like this would work a lot better in a 3D game than a 2D one. Mostly because it would certainly be too overpowered in a 2D title. It's a lot harder to dodge his attacks in such a game, so I bet it wouldn't be a very good fit for games like Super Mario Maker 2 and New Super Mario Bros. But still, I think it has a lot going for itself, and it would certainly make the skies of the Mushroom Kingdom a whole lot more dangerous. And heck, Nintendo could even come up with a certain mechanic that allowed you to fly around, and then you could use this new type to add some spice to that segment. The winged cap would be a very good fit, or maybe a flying enemy that you can capture. Then the flying hammer bro could be used for even more things. However, I have one more idea for a hammer bro type. And while this one is the least special, it could still be incredibly fun. Do you remember the King Babom boss fight from Super Mario 64 DS? You know, the one with Yoshi? Here you have to grab the Babom thrown at you by the king with your tongue and spit them back at him before they explode. But after that, we never really saw a concept like this again. There aren't really any enemies that throw bombs. So why not add a Babom bro? A normal hammer bro that throws bombs at you instead of hammers. Now, as you can imagine, this type would be really dangerous to take on, but you could also take advantage of him. For example, you encounter him while there are a bunch of other enemies around you as well. If that's the case, then you can use the bombs to get rid of all the enemies around you, and then you just take out the bomb bro. Now, another thing Nintendo could do is create a certain brick block that can only be destroyed with bombs and the player has to find one of these Babom bros and lure him over to these blocks so he can throw a bomb at it and destroy it. This would add another layer to it all. It's a useful enemy that has certain roles in the game instead of just being a simple, boring enemy. And hey, if this type would be seen in Super Mario Odyssey 2, then you could blow up everything else using his special powers. That would certainly make things interesting, especially if you can also blow up yourself. That way you can't just bombard everything around you willy-nilly without thinking about what you're actually doing. Something like that would certainly make the enemy a bit more complex. And uh, to be honest, they would also be very easy to make for Nintendo. Now personally, I think all the types we discussed in this video could add something really cool to some Super Mario title. Either a game like Super Mario Maker or Super Mario Odyssey. Like I said, Nintendo hasn't done a whole lot with the Hammer Bros, so there's a lot of potential. Now, if they will ever do anything with them is a mystery. Nintendo is a strange company at times, but I guess we will see in time. But I hope some of these will sneak their way into the franchise. And hey, let me know which type you would like to see the most down below in the comments. And tell me if I need to do more videos like this. Because it's quite fun to come up with your own Mario enemies. Heck, leave some suggestions down below in the comments, and I might cover them in the next video. Like I said before, when making this video, I also took a lot of inspiration from the comment section of another video. So share your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, be sure to click the subscribe button, click like, click the bell, tell me all the lovelies in the comments, yay, help out Wiley, please, I, it would make me very happy. Bye everybody!